Dance, wait! Are you sure you want to do this? The Crusade is the only hope I have of finding my father. If I want to enlist, this tournament is my best option. So you're going to fight, all to make the other Caballeros notice you? Yes, but it is a jousting tournament, and I will have to declare my knighthood to enter. Uh, Aren't you going to need a squire? Every knight worth his salt has one. Esteban, I've enjoyed our camaraderie, but our journey together ends here. Good luck. Ah. Uh. Hear ye, hear ye, O oh gentle ladies, O oh noble sires! Hear ye, kind lords and valiant warriors! The duels have they been begin. the two-on-two -two games! Registration is now ah, open! See? That's destiny! Yes, it seems destiny has a sense of humor. But, has destiny brought me the squire I need? Oh, come on! My blades thought they had already proven their worth! And you will not find a better sparring partner, hombre! I am listening, young lord. I am Denz de Bale, son of Jean de Bale. I wish to enlist in the tournament. Very well, my lord. Uh, who shall be your companion of ours? This man. His name is Esteban Noviembre. Uh, so be it. So Denz de Bale and Esteban Noviembre have been enrolled in the tournament. May success and fortune be upon you. Tell me, Secretary, is it true that the Lord of Villa Hardois is recruiting for the Crusade? At the behest of His Holiness Pope Innocent III, Fouque de Neuilly himself has come to preach the Crusade's want of able men. And, undoubtedly, young lord, uh, this tournament in particular... The eyes of venerable benefactors to your plane. Excellent. Thank you. So, partners, once again? Uh, one last thing, my lord. Uh, if you hope to succeed, you may want to take a moment before the tournament begins to practice with the other participants. It's possible you'll find an occasion to learn new moves that way. Uh, you and your companion shall be called forth when your turn comes. Who's next? Are there no other valiant knights willing to do battle? Well, let's review the basics. Now, when your adversaries are parrying all your blows, you can use a guard break to breach their defenses. A guard breaker, eh? Try it on your opponent. We'll see. A word of caution, Esteban. If you use a guard break on an enemy that is not parrying, you will have no trouble avoiding the attack. Now begins the melee trials! Here enter the Lord Denz de Bale and his companion of arms, Esteban Noviembre! Their adversaries will be the Lords Antonius de Fougère and Caribert de Montségur! Look up there, Esteban, in the box. That is Geoffroy de Villehardois. He chooses who goes and who stays. I must shine if I want to get recruited. I've got a bad feeling about this crusade thing, old man. But I have a debt to repay. I'll help you shine. Come on! Let's review another technique, the deflection counter. Deflection what? Never heard of it. 
You can deflect the attacks of your enemies in order to gain the advantage of a counter-strike. Once your opponent has lost his balance, you have a small window of time to strike. It may even be a lethal blow. Oh, really? Let's try it. The Lord Dens de Bale and his companion of arms, Esteban Noviembre. And to face them, please welcome the Lord Trasamund de Casanova and his faithful companion of arms, Théodéric de Tempe. We have to win. Counting on. Have no fear. If the guard break allows you to penetrate your opponent's defenses, you should know that your enemies will not hesitate to use it again. wouldn't dare. Prepare to dodge your adversary's guard break. dangerous, Esteban. If you are hit with a guard break, you'll be momentarily stunned. Well then, they better kill me fast if that happens. Because as soon as I come to, there will be... Let the third round of the Melee Trials begin! Here are the two-time winners, Lord Dens de Bale and his faithful companion, Esteban Noviembre. And to cross blades with them, Lord Alaric de Piver and his companion, Lord Avidus de Rochefort. can't withstand continuous combat. After a while, they break. Damn, there's no more. When a weapon is broken, the damage it inflicts is much weaker. More importantly, some moves become impossible to perform. So be careful. There's only one fight left, Esteban. Victory is at hand. Let the fourth and final round of the melee trials begin! Ida, it's him! Here he comes, already ordained as a High Baron of the Holy Crusade, Baudouin de Flandre, and his companion, Elmgo de Landreville. Hens, any suggestions? Yes, 
Let's win. Misfortune. It seems our champions, the size the Bale and Noviembre, have no weapons. an opportunity to show them what we're made of. Defeat me! What a surprise! Ah, not this again! You're going to make it, Esteban. Victory is ours! So this is how you overcame their gaze. You too belong to the masquerade! is worthy. Go, treat with him, and offer him what he wants. His chance to join our army. As you wish, my lord. Will we also need his companion? The old Spaniard? Yes, but I can't recall his name. September, I think. Or December. A month in the year. Good to bail. Good. Esteban, I know I've asked you to help me earn my place in the Crusader army, and I thank you for that. Help me understand, amigo. What is this curse? Why do I see the burnt men and the flaming skeletons? Don't worry. We will free ourselves from the curse. We will find a way. Lord de Bale? Sire Noviembre? Ah, Sire. I like the way that sounds. How can we be of service? Villa master of this castle, wishes to inform you, Sires, that you are invited to join the ranks of the very saintly army that departs for Jerusalem tomorrow. You are also invited to his encampment outside town from where the army shall depart. Thank you. Where is that encampment?